internetters welcome back to another pin spinning video and so for today we're going to be learning how to do the pun can and by the way sorry if i'm mispronouncing that So before we get into the video, there are prerequisites to learning how to do the pun can. And the prerequisites that you'll need to know is the thumb around, or preferably in my opinion, I think you'll need how to do the aerial thumb around and it'll set you up at a better advantage if you know how to do that. But if not, it's okay too. I think I have a video on the aerial thumb around and maybe the thumb around too. So I'll leave a link up here for you to click if you wanna check that out. And basically with all that being said, let's just get right into the video. So today is day one of learning the pun can. Uh, let's just get to it and see how it goes. So when I was learning this trick, I broke this trick out into a series of steps for me to follow. And so for day one, I dedicated to learning the first step, which is basically doing a thumb around and then getting it to land on my forearm consistently. And basically, I also started learning the pun can back in March. No, it did not take me four months to learn the pun can, sort of. But if you keep watching the video, I'll explain what happened and you'll figure out why. So this is day two of practicing the pun can and we'll just get right into it. So there isn't much change from day one to day two. I'm still practicing the thumb around and getting it to land on my forearm in a specific spot. And so I'm just trying to get this down pack before I move on to the next step. So today is day three. I remember being very frustrated and annoyed on day three because this is when I incorporated the flick with my forearm to try to get it to spin around to my thumb. And basically the reason why it's frustrating is because the pin, sometimes it never comes back. Remember I told you, uh, I started this back at the end of March and now it's like July. Well, yeah, I kind of stopped practicing the pun can and just pin spinning all in general and many other things I was doing for fun. And that's just personally because I had a lot of things that came up at the time and it's kind of like, yeah, just I'll just leave it at that. Nonetheless, we got back to learning how to do the pun can and yeah. And so I managed to get one lucky pun can back at the start. And basically I was feeling myself at this point, right? I didn't practice for months. I combined all the stuff that I was learning on day one, two, and three. And then I managed to get the pun can down. And then I managed to even get the second one. And so at this point, right, I was feeling really confident in myself. I was like, oh, I'm really close to learning how to do the pun can. And we'll be able to push this video out in like, you know, a few days or something. And we'll be good. But it didn't really happen that way. Oh, day six. I remember day six very thoroughly because it was the point where I was the most frustrated, the most upset, the most angry, and I was running out of patience. Um, and I think what got me at this point was because I had an expectation that I would, you know, be able to learn this in a couple of days, but turns out I was nowhere near it, right? Those were lucky pun cans, as I mentioned earlier, all that I did when I first got back a couple months. And so, yeah, I didn't understand how the pun can fully worked. Like, I didn't know how it used to use the timing. Uh, of doing the pun can I didn't I watched many videos and tutorials on the pun can as I was getting more frustrated and frustrated I'm trying to um, see how the other pin spinners do it and the more I watched the more confused I got and I don't know if it, if it was just like a block a mental block that I had but nonetheless I still continue to practice the pun can an hour a day for like ever So yeah, I managed to do four pun cans in a row. And if you've been watching me from the beginning, you know that I like to do a pin trick three times in a row to say, hey, I learned how to do the trick, right? But if you watch very closely at the clip, I felt like it really wasn't the pun can because I was rolling the pin off of my wrist, sometimes my hand. And I feel like that's like not really an arm back but I don't know exactly what it is uh, called or the technical terms of the pin spinning. But nonetheless, even though I did it four times in a row, I wasn't consistent at doing the pun can and I'm not satisfied with that result. So basically what that means is I gotta continue practicing. And so on day 18, you can see I changed it up a little bit. I changed the setting 
and I changed from sitting to standing on learning how to do the pun can and standing really helped me a lot and as I continue to practice on day 24 I felt like I got the pun can down and I'm a little bit more comfortable in doing it I wouldn't say down but it's a little bit more comfortable and so here are clips of me doing the pun can here And now it's time for the real test, right? To actually do it three times in a row. And um, yeah, that that still took a while for me to get um, because doing the pun can once or twice, right? Uh, was easy, but getting it three times in a row was a little bit difficult for me. So that's pretty much all I have for today. I think I spent roughly about 26 hours. I didn't I didn't have a real time count this time. I'm just getting back, so I really didn't focus on timing myself. I just focused on learning the pun can. But I think I spent roughly around 26 hours uh, in learning the uh, pun can. And that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching. And until next time.